Welcome to Late to the Show. I'm your host, Prophet 74. Today, I have a beast in front of me here. It's an alienware. It's a Dow alienware. Yes, Dow alienware. Now, this is a new machine. It, it, I love it just the way it is right now. It, it outperforms a lot of these machines out there right now, especially for gaming. This is a, this is a must, but it, costs at a, it comes at a price. This Alienware is the AW17R4. It's R4 is for the memory, pretty much. That's what it tells you. 17, it's a video size screen. Now, this one outperforms a lot of the machines I use, especially the MSI system that's out there. It's a great buy, but the more you add to it, the higher the cost is gonna go. The system could go under $3,000 or over $3,000, depending on what you wanna put on the system. Now. This one I souped it up pretty much, except for the memory, except for the hard drive. So let me tell you and let me open it up and give you some more details. So when you get the case, it's pretty much like a briefcase. It 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 weighs almost 20 pounds. I mean the case itself, it it's a very large system, but the weight because it's large is because it's because of the monitor and the performance it has. So when you open it up. It's a nice little case in here, but nothing fancy I've never seen before. So let's put it on the side. Let's put this big sucker here on display. So as you can see, this, this computer takes the entire space of this little small little desk I have here. Um, it's a great buy to have, but it comes at a price. We're talking about three grand for this. I mean, if you have the money and the cash and you're a true gamer, you want to perform, this is something you probably want to buy or have in your Christmas list but i don't recommend you if it's a workstation because if you're going to stand in one area i prefer i prefer a, a workstation but this system is similar to a workstation because you could do a lot of modifications you cannot upgrade the video card but you could upgrade the memory and you could add extra hard drives or you could add an extra ssd connection so i'm also gonna this is the thing that actually attracts me to the system they're simple to modify. Dell makes them very simple for you to buy them and you to modify them. This is one thing I like about it. So the system, it's a pretty, it's a beast. But for the performance you're getting, it has to be a beast. So what I bought this one for, it's for a developer, uh, pretty much a 3D modeling performance because the video card in here is a 1080. It's an NVIDIA 1080. If you guys don't know what's a 1080 video card, then you're a true gamer. So let me give you some more details about this system and let's go ahead and open it up and see what's behind the hood so you guys can see firsthand how everything's performed. So first of all, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna remove some screws here so you guys can see how simple it is. So we remove all of them first. Now, you are gonna need something sharp, something smaller, like maybe a credit card or a guitar pick to actually lift it up because it's it's not that hard to, to actually remove. Just gotta be careful on the, because it has little latches on the corner. So if you can see, I actually removed this part and I'm gonna put it right here because I wanna pick this sucker up so you guys can see it and I could go and demo some of the stuff. Now, the reason I love about this system is because they give it to you so you can modify it and you can actually take control and you feel more like in power of it. So I like this, the way they're going with this instead of you buying a machine that the memory is built in there and everything's difficult. Like the Origin machine that I, I actually um, talked about, it was very difficult to actually do any modification. Pretty much if you don't order with the things that you want, you're pretty much screwed. On this, on this case, you can actually modify a lot of it. So, of course, you cannot modify the video card. It's built in already in the motherboard. The motherboard itself, it takes a lot of the space. It has these two intakes in here for the air, of course, for the flow. And of course, the radiator goes all throughout the whole motherboard itself. Now, the memory has 32 gigs right now. So I have two of these memories here, the DDR4s. So there's 16, two, 16 chips in here. And of course, here's the chip I was talking about, the DDR, the, I'm sorry, the SSD hard drive. It's, it's a little smaller performance here. They give you another slot just for that. Now this one has 
It comes with 250, but I'm actually gonna upgrade it. And you'll see how I'm gonna upgrade this one on the next one. But I don't need to upgrade. I could actually add another 250 here to make it to performance to the 500. And uh, we could do a right control where actually both could boot up and see as one individual hard drive, which is not a bad idea for performance wise. People like tend to do that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna replace the hard drive itself because the actual user that wanted this, he wanted a 520 gig hard drive. So that's what I'm gonna get him. Now here at the bottom, we see the terabyte. It's one terabyte hard drive. Now this could be modified to whatever you want. They have four to five to eight to 10 terabytes. The more you go into the terabytes, the more you're gonna have to pay, of course. Now this hard drive itself, it generates a lot of heat because there's moving components, but you don't have to stick with the regular hard drive, the regular SATA drive. You could buy a solid state hard drive and just put it in there. But you want to make sure you have enough space because this system, it, it needs a space, especially for the games that you're going to put in there or the software you're going to have in here. If you're putting Revit or any Autodesk information or hard drive, um, any Autodesk software applications in here, they tend to take a lot of the space. And a lot of the spaces mostly run and generate by the main OS system. Where the OS is located, that's where you're gonna have your actual software sometimes. A lot of these people like to put the software on the SATA drives or on any other drive, the additional drives that you have in there, or you could save your files so you could actually have more of the performance. And there's a battery that actually attempts to cover this whole area, which is not bad. You just disconnect it and you could replace them in the future because the batteries don't tend to last forever. And it's something that I highly recommend. If, if you could do this on your own, hey, go ahead and give it some more life you know, to it. Because after a year, you start losing quality and you, you start seeing a big performance on your battery. This is why, because it's just they tend not to last forever. So if you ever want to replace it, a lot of vendors sell the batteries out there. Make sure you buy it from a, a vendor that's well known because batteries tend to burn out sometimes. So you don't want to buy a cheap old battery that's not going to last you a week or so. You could perform, actually give more life to the system by adding extra hard drive, extra memory. If it, it's outdated, you could actually give it some more life, like I said. It's a great system to have, great for performance. That's why I highly recommend it for gaming. Now, the reason this gaming machine is very popular right now is because they're well known before they got bought off by Dell. They were known for performance and they still are known for performance. On the last E3 show I saw, I saw this for the first hand. I actually was playing with this. I was playing player unknown on this system. Great performance. I actually put a video on it so you guys can see how it was performed. Great system on it. I mean, I had base call running this exact same machine with the NVIDIA 1080 video card. Now the 1080 video card is pretty much a big old beast similar to this. This is not a 1080, but this is pretty much the same size as the 1080. Now, what they did, they actually got the 1080 and built it in the actual freaking motherboard, which is a great performance system. Now, pretend it is a 1080. This all thick is a 1080. And, you're, and this is pretty much the thickness of the whole computer. The actual video card takes on the thickness of the actual computer, which is, it's funny, but, if you want to get performance, this is the machine. This is this will replace desktops for gamers out there, uh, for developers, for uh, BIM developers, Autodesk developers. This is a perfect machine, and I highly recommend you for everybody to take a chance and and look at this model. But like I say, it's ver they're very expensive. The 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 high performance machine you're gonna pay three thousand. You could probably buy two high performance desktops for this price now these days, you know? And you could get a 1080 Ti video card included on the desktop, which is an 11 gig video card. Not like this one, you know? This is a great performance machine, but if you want to keep up with new stuff that's gonna come out, new generation of video cards, I highly recommend your desktop. But for travelers that are carrying around a big machine or gamers that are going to perform somewhere else or, or maybe a friend's house or they're going to have a LAN party, this is the machine you want to take. You don't have to take any big old box of, of a computer. Now, get let me let get, get something straight too. The power cord is pretty freaking big too. So you're going to have to carry this machine plus a power cord. Actually, I'll get it out. I'll get a picture of it so you guys can see it. Which is not a bad buy, but I... I, I if, it was up to me and I had a chance of buying this in a desktop. 
I think I will stick more with the desktop because like I said, it's they're easier to upgrade this. And it's a video card that I'm talking about. Now, I don't recommend anybody to opening this case because you might void your warranty. So be careful. I'm actually, I do this for a living. So I'm actually gonna upgrade the memory and the hard drive here. So that's the only reason. And the only reason I'm gonna upgrade is because it's cheaper if I actually buy the components separate instead of buying it bundled in here. Because by adding an extra hard drive in here and extra memory, I was gonna pay a, almost double the amount of what I'm actually paying separate on the system. So if you're ever gonna buy one of these, maybe spend the money on the actual video card and the CPU because that's something you cannot replace on these systems and I would actually replace and not and maybe get a low down end of the video I mean the the memory and the hard drive when you can actually add your own components like I said they have this slot for any kind of hard drive in here uh, this like I said this is a one terabyte 256 and the memory is 32 gigs you can actually put 64 gigs you can actually put a 500 gig to hard, um, SSD and you can actually put three or four terabytes on it. So it's up to you. And, uh, and if you want, there's another slot here just for another SSD card on the same on the same area. So you have options in here. Lots of different options to do. And they also have another slot for another SSD. But this is a smaller slot for the SSD one and SSD two. So there is another slot right above it too which is the little tiny one let me demonstrate you the two different ones. this is a samson ssd this is pretty much a hard drive it's 250 gig hard drive this fits perfectly in there if i actually put it in the slot you will have to get the smaller version and put it on the second slot so there's different performances on it it's just they're smaller and different size they make them both here like this one they spread out the memory around here this one they actually compiled it all into one area that's why it's pretty much the same memory it's just different sizes you just got to make sure you buy the perfect one that, for this system because this system is a great performance so you don't want to put something cheap on it and slow it down for just for performance way now i've been testing this one out i've been playing um the game battlegrounds and it it's outperforming my desktop to be honest with you it's a great system to to play the game and and do the graphics i tried playing uh different unreal engines uh, games on it and it was performing more even better surpass so surpass my expectations on the desktop that i currently have i do have the same video card but this one has better memory and it has a better hard drive because i'm actually have a solid state hard drive on my desktop and i could see and i could feel the performance on this computer now the noise level is pretty high pitch because of the audio uh, because of the fans but that's because of the cooling system that's a must you're not going to escape from that this system is going to perform a lot of it's going to generate a lot of heat but if you're going to generate heat it's because you're playing those freaking high performance games that are are demanding these things so Great system. Like I said, I give it a high, I highly recommend it. If you have the money and the funds or you're gonna save up for it, buy this machine, you know. But between the, this and a desktop, I would prefer a desktop. Next time, I will actually add the memory in here and we'll boot it up. I'll show you exactly how to clone your hard drive, your existing hard drive, so you don't have to redo the whole thing on the next episode. So if you like what you see, subscribe to Late to the Show. I'm your host, Prophet74, out.